So this is another video, and mm, this is Sprite One, and we don't need this character. But when you mm, push the file new button, then mm, this cat is the default sprite, and that's why it always comes here. And you, we can delete that, or you can right click and then delete it. Mm, some computers work like that. But anyways, let's start. So we're going to click the paint button, and then mm, it'll show Sprite 1. And then you can draw any character you like or sudden. Like, you can make, like, circles, squares, or rectangles, very tiny ones, and even lines. And you can turn these into, like, tiny rectangles. Tangles are sudden. So that's very... What? How did this guy get here? Who's he? I've never heard of this guy. He looks super interesting. Uh, but I don't want this guy. How did he come? I don't know. Now, mm, Let's draw something amazing. So, if you want, you can, like, write a title or something. Mm. And right now you can draw a circle. I want to draw a circle, and that'll be my sprite, and his name will be Sprite One. And I actually want to color him yellowish kind of color. Yeah, that looks good. And that'll be my sprite, and he has to roam around. So to make him follow me. Uh, let's go to the motion category, and you'll see glide seconds to random position. And I'll choose mass pointer from the menu, and then there is glide one second. But we will need point one, so it'll go a little faster. And then let's go to controls and take a forever loop. So it'll do this over and over and over again, like forever. See? Looks amazing! And actually, I want him to do something very cool. So let's stop this, actually. And if you click this button, there's a paper kind of thing and then a plus. And if you click it, there'll be video sensing, text to P, text to peach. And you can put, click lots of different options. But we'll need pen, draw with your sprites. And now you can pick that, set color to pen, so you can, and then take mm, pen down, so it'll actually write. Click the green flag. Delete this clone in two spots. Oh. Oh, this doesn't work. Uh, 
Oh, that's what happens when you click that. But that's still okay, because when you click the green flag, everything goes normal. Or if you stop it, then it goes normal. Otherwise, the screen gets all messy with all these basketballs. It's very irritating. All these basketballs don't look good. Stop it! Hey, stop! Stop! What's that work? Yes! Worked! Uh, actually, we shouldn't do this. Let's delete this basketball. Mm, let's make sudden, like, let's go to an apple, and he should follow us. To make him follow us, we'll need to go to events and take this. Actually, now put it there. Now, let's start making him follow us. Go to motions, take a glide one second, and put point one so it'll go faster. Now let's take mouse pointer, so it'll follow me only, only me. Whoa, it worked. But if we keep click, clicking the green flag, then it'll work. And we don't want to just click the green flag a hundred times or a million to make it work. We need a forever loop. So drag one and put it right here. Now, it's much better. Now, it'll follow us. And someone else should be following the apple. So let's get another sprite and go to foods. Let's take this orange. And he will follow us. So let's take move 10 steps. And then point towards mouse pointer. And we should choose why mouse pointer? Why not the apple? Because He's following us. And then mm, you can take move 10 steps. Now that's already there. Mm, and go to random position. Go to Apple. Good. Now let's go to controls and take a forever loop. Now let's go to events and take a when click. Now let's see what will happen. Whoa. He's going to the apple, so we should remove that code, actually. Mm, and let's pull him back. Yep, it's working. It's working. It's working. And now it'll follow him. Amazing, isn't it? Even I like it. <laughs> so fun. And that's super easy, though. We should make, like, something else, not the apple. We should make, like... Mm, this shouldn't be an apple, actually. This should be a bunny. That'll look much better. So, let's go to costumes of the apple. And let's go to convert to bitmap. Now, let's take the eraser tool and erase everything. Good, good, good. Now, let's go to costumes and find a good animal. So you can look for anything you want. I'm just looking for a tiny bunny like this one. And he's going to jump around. Now let's delete this. Now we got him. Now let's go to orange and erase him. There, he's gone. Now let's turn him into some type of animal chasing after the bunny. That'll look good. And let's choose the bear. Whoa, whoa. And let's delete the orange and go to codes. And it works. Whoa, what is happening? And go to random position. Go to apple. Good. Now let's go to controls and take a forever loop. Now let's go to events and take a when click. Now let's see what'll happen. Whoa. He's going to the apple, so we should remove that code, actually. Mm, and let's pull him back. Yep, it's working. It's working. It's working. And now it'll follow him. Amazing, isn't it? Even I like it. 
<laughs> so fun. And that's super easy, though. We should make, like, something else, not the apple. We should make money. He looks good following us. Mm, and that's one way you can make a sprite follow the other sprite. Amazing, isn't it? So that's it for today. Bye-bye, guys!